Mr. Goodman, let's try out my new show. How would you like to be king for a day? <laughs> and here he is, the man who will change one of you nobodies into king for a day, the old kingmaker himself, Ray Allen. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. And good evening. Did all you folks in the audience like those $1,000 bills you found on your seats when you came in? <laughs> Good. And if you want more, there'll be a big bag of money at the door. <laughs> On your way out, help yourselves. But the stage is loaded with hundreds of presents for the first man to answer our jumbo jackpot question. He will be king for a day. And here is our first eager contestant. Good evening, sir. What is your name? Abner Flog. Uh, Mr. Flog, how old are you? I'm 98. Nine... <laughs> 98 years old. And don't pin no orchid onto me. No, uh... <laughs> No orchid, eh? That's how I lost my wife. On a quiz program? Yeah. My wife was 102. The fella pinned an orchid onto her. I see. The weight of the orchid bent my wife over and snapped her spine. <laughs> well, that's too bad. Yeah, my wife won first prize, but she never knew it. Well, all right, Mr. Flog. Now for our question. You may be king for a day. I don't think I'll last through the day. <laughs> All right, we'll hurry. Tell me, who was the sixth president of the United States? The sixth? There were three names. Mary Margaret McBride. Oh. <laughs> I'm awfully sorry, Mr. Flogg. But for making such a swell try, here is a gift certificate presented at LaGuardia Airfield, and you will get a brand new B-29 and a polka dot form-fitting parachute. Happy landing, Mr. Flogg. And here is our next potential... King for a day. Your name, sir? Myron Proudfoot. <laughs> Myron Proudfoot? You look like a chap I know. I'm not interested in your friends. Start giving things away, brother. <laughs> what is your occupation, Mr. Proudfoot? I'm a chaplain in a bakery. What does a chaplain do in a bakery? I put wings on angel cakes. <laughs> have you been in the cake business, Mr. Proudfoot? Long enough to know a crumb when I see one. <laughs> I see one. Now, don't get sarcastic, Mr. Proudleg. The name is Proudfoot, and make with the question. All right. Who is the sixth president of the United States? John Quincy Adams. John Quincy Adams is correct, and Mr. Myron Proudfoot is king for a day. <laughs> Folks, here he is, King Proudfoot. Well, Your Majesty, how do you feel? Never mind how I feel. What do I get? Well, first... <laughs> first, for His Majesty from Schnook Sport Nook, a genuine no-splash beaver board canoe paddle. Here a canoe is. paddle? <laughs> oh, boy! <laughs> and with the compliments of Tiffany's, this chromium pitchfork. Oh, hey, a poor pronger, and it's all mine. <laughs> And from Hemingway's hardware store, 200 pounds of self-hardening putty. For King for a day. Just what I need. Just what I need. This is just the beginning, King. King, you are over 35. By two years. Fine. That's Jumbo Carter, Uncle Jim. For His Majesty. He is over... <laughs> Epi, Epi, that's what? yipe, backwards. <laughs> And here, the piston rod from a genuine Baldwin locomotive for His Majesty the King. <laughs> oh, locomotive. And here, from Melody Lane Music Shop, this case of 2,000 soybean mandolin picks. These are the mandolins. I just keep pinching myself to believe it. Immediately after this program, Your Majesty will be guest of honor at a banquet at Hamburger Heaven. Tomorrow morning, through the courtesy of the sanitation department, you will be guest conductor on the 11-5 garbage run through the Bronx. At night, in your ermine robe, you will be whisked by bicycle to Orange, New Jersey, where you will be the judge in a chicken cleaning contest. I'm king for a day! And that's not all! Therefore? Yes, we are going to start right now to make you look like a king. Sam, of Sam's Super Shoe Shine Stand, is here to brush your shoes. All right, Sam. Sam, watch out for the button. Next, the president of the Busy Bee Hat Cleaners is here to block your hat. Take the king's hat, Mr. Bumble. And change the newspaper in the hat band. 
your suit is a little baggy, King. Boys, take His Majesty's coat off. Wait, wait. On our stage, we have a Hoffman pressing machine. Now, wait a minute. Wait a minute. An expert operating the Hoffman pressing machine will press your trousers. Now, wait a minute. by the use of this wish to blend. In fact, the iced tea season has played a big part in making tender leaf tea so famous for flavor. Flavor means more. It's more important through the summer months. So everybody sets out to get all the flavor going and that leads straight to tender leaf tea for finer flavor and more ice. In spite of melting ice, the richer goodness of tender leaf tea persists. The last swallow of the glass is still delicious, still flavorful tender leaf tea. This is NBC, the national broadcasting company.